Hello everyone. I welcome you all to Geeky Script. First of all, a very happy new year to all of you. Today I am going to show you how to install R and R Studio on the Windows operating system. And after that, I will also show you how you can easily use R Studio for writing some R programming. So do watch the video till the end. I can guarantee if you watch the video till the end, you will be learning a lot of new things. And if you still face any issues in middle, you can always comment me on comment sessions. And I am also on Instagram now. So you can also follow me over there. You can ask all of your doubts over there as well. I will definitely going to help you. So now to install R and R Studio, you need to first simply go to favorite browser. And to type over here, R Studio Download. And hit enter. So that's going to show you this search result called RStudio Desktop. So you can always click on this RStudio Desktop. So the website URL of posit.co is what I'm going to also provide on our description. So here you'll see RStudio Desktop. So when you scroll down, you'll get this first step that is installer and the second step is install RStudio, right? So R is what uh, is the programming and R Studio is what it will give you a GUI interface of, or graphic user interface, right? So we'll start with R. So click on this download and install R and uh, it's going to redirect to this page. So here, depending upon what operating system you use, Linux or Mac or Windows, it will, you know, click on that. For Windows, I'll click on this. It's going to again redirect to this page. So here, in click on this installer for the first time, and it's going to again uh, redirect to this page. All right. So here, just simply click on this download button, and you will see that our R is rightly started downloading. Right. So yeah. So that's how you download R. Next thing that we'll need is our Studio. So switch back to this website and click on this download our studio desktop so that going to immediately start downloading our r studio as well so both r and r studio is rightly started downloading i, I already downloaded I cancel this i'll minimize my browser i'll go to my download directory and here you'll see both these two product is already downloaded on our system right so first is r studio r studio size is about 252 mb and r size is about 82.2 mb all right so let's start with installing it one by one. Let's start with R. Double click on the installer. It will ask if I administered privileges. Click on yes. And there you go. Our R setup wizard is ready to open. So let's minimize our download directory first. So here it is asking to select one language. You can see all these different languages are available. I'll select English and click on OK. So this is, is our license agreement. Always read this. Click on next. So this is where our R is going to be installed. If you want to change, you can always click on browse and you can do that. I'll recommend you to keep it default and click on next. So it's going to install some main files, then 64-bit files and also masses, translate, translations and all. Keep it default. Click on next. Here under startup options, it is asking whether you would like to do some customized startup or you just simply accept the default. You can just uh, you know totally accept the default and click on next. So it's going to create a R folder. Fine, click on next. I I'll recommend you to select also this create a quick launch shortcut. So that's going to help you to launch it quickly. And uh, you can create a desktop shortcut as well. So it's going to create a desktop shortcut. And yeah, basically you need to keep it uh, everything selected and click on next. And you can see that our installation is rightly began. So it's going to take some time. By the time it gets installed, I'll, re I'll request you please to consider subscribing our channel Geeky Syntax. So here also regularly I'm posting lot of videos. So you can see different videos on React, .NET, WordPress, Angular. So if you you know subscribe this channel and watch some some of my other videos, that will really motivate me. All right, and also I am posting lot of videos on WordPress, so you can also watch all these different videos on my channel. So th these are like quite long videos of one hour thirty minute or one hour. So uh, I'll recommend you to watch my other videos as well. So welcome back. You can see that our R is rightly installed. Click on finish. So now that our R is rightly installed, it's time to install the GUI or R Studio. So double click on the installer. 
relaxify administrative privileges click on yes and there you go welcome to our studio setup let's minimize our download directory and click on next over here so on program files you're going to create a folder called art studio and there it's going to install so available space is what you need to check so 1.1 gigabyte is the required space and i have a lot of available space so no worries just you know verify it once and click on install you can see that our installation is rightly began right so yeah so again it's going to take some time let's wait for some time over here so we'll come back and can see that our completing our studio setup so our art studio is rightly installed let's click on finish and now that our art studio is rightly installed let's launch our art studio so go to search and type art studio and uh, you will get this art studio app over here let's click on that our art studio is rightly started launching before that it's going to ask uh, what type of i mean uh, what bit you'd like to use 64 bit or 32 bit i am having 64 bit so i'll keep it default and i'll click on ok so that's going to start launching our our studio so it has rightly launch so let's maximize it and this is the interface of our studio first it is asking whether it'd like to send some anonymous data to our studio regarding some crashing crash and all so that's going to help to improve this product so you can always click on yes so that's going to only help to improve their product so yeah so here you can see the latest version of r as well here which is version 4.4.2 at the time of making of this video so uh, if you are watching this video much later you might see a different versions so nothing to worry let's clear our console so go to edit and click on clear console you can also press on your keyboard control plus l that going to also clear your console so our console is rightly cleared now let's write some art programming so let's write something like print hello world right and uh, let's give a comma and type code equal to false so you know just write this much and hit enter you'll, you'll get the output coming on our console as hello world so whatever you have written that same output will be coming and uh, when you get this type of prompt then all that basically mean is your r is that is rightly installed it is properly interpreting your r code and it is properly giving you the output and also r studio will give you this gui interface and you can start working on your R programming over here so that's how you install R and R studio and you start working on your R programming don't forget to subscribe your channel geeky script along with geeky syntax that's going to really motivate me to make more this kind of videos and also if you're interested you can also subscribe your geeky script vlogging channel and you can also watch my other videos as well yeah so that's basically all about this video friends thank you very much for watching this video and god bless you all